everyone how are you all hope you are doing very well welcome to the episode number three for building e-commerce application for watches shop so let's go ahead now and continue our journey the last time we have uh, put all the HTML inside the Laravel and we have created the migration and the table so let's go ahead and make this bad boy now all dynamic which is read from the database so let's bring the hair all right cool so I will then command this line okay and where should I start okay let's close this let's close this blah 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 okay so what we need is to fetch the product right okay so let's go to the home controller index here I want to pass uh, let's bring all the products first so product it and let's make it okay and let's try to onboard this class okay cool and let's pass this now uh, to this method here so we can pass it in two different way okay so the first way is to make like this okay and this will pass it to the view but we have nice function okay so it's compact i believe okay so we don't need to use like this and compact and it's very clever enough to pass something like this okay so this will do the same okay so this will pass it to the view and make it usable here so i'll go ahead here and let's see what we have so this is the first product right okay so let's wrap this and let's delete the others because all will be dynamic isn't it all right so yep like this and let's go and see what we have blah 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 all right so connection reviews okay maybe just we would let's refresh again okay so video blah 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 then we can connect every time so okay guys so it's working so i didn't do anything fancy at all so i just restart uh, like this which we are saying like this and i change 127.0.0.1 to localhost that's it so and uh, this should do the trick and let's do it again let's refresh just wait a little bit to oh yeah cool so it's working so just restart the server i have uh, why this happened okay so let's go ahead yeah indeed we have one product here and yes yeah, so let's loop inside and fetch all of them from uh, so yes we have the products here cool so let's go to the home blade blah 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 yep and we have this bad boy so let's loop we use a blade syntax like this product as product okay and yes we need to loop inside and for each okay and this should give us four or something yes so why this complaining type blah 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 so this doesn't deal with that. okay so let's go ahead and try it so we have four here indeed so let's grab the correct information uh, here so I will go here for the name okay which is product okay product name and what we have here will be I believe description isn't it okay what what I'm doing okay so delete okay come on okay product and description yep description like this and we have here so this is the uh, price and we have the set of price so product and this will be the price and this will be so the price let's make the currency as well okay like this and this sale price i believe and let's change this to add to cart okay and let's see what we have all right cool so we have like this and yes because laraval is more secure so it doesn't uh, uh, translate the html to html so we have to we have so, something very nice so we have to do it now we have to wrap the description where is it where is the description yep we have to wrap it like this okay to f 
so this from the Davard documentation you have to use something like this okay so to print the um, the description okay so let's go ahead and see if we got okay, we have an error so let's see all right so all right <laughs> okay so this should be like this okay and yes this should work now cool so we have it here blah 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 yes so and the description it doesn't show okay so let's see what we have so i believe i spell uh, description wrong maybe okay so where is it yep here okay so product and description okay okay yes we have to be careful very careful about the syntax so we have to like this okay and like this so what this means that we need the html don't uh, print it as a text so translate it to html and here we go bingo and we have the prices and we have all how about the image okay so let's go ahead and do it very easy as well so here i will make products and and image isn't it we have image name i believe and this should pop the image for us cool so we have all dynamic now how about the this button so we will add this to the cart when you click this add to this, the cart isn't it okay and we need here one two three four okay so to do this yes we can do it like uh, without view gs but i we want to make something uh, more efficient and more so be familiar with the uh, call okay so what we have to do is to do uh, this thing how we can do it well Laravel shipped with VGS already for, for us if we can go to resources GS blah 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 and we can see here example and we can see here app blah 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 okay so this don't confuse bootstrap and other bootstrap so this just to uh, run bootstrap from laravel so it's nothing this one okay and required view just so let's make a new component call this one add to oh shit sorry guys add to cart button all right add to cart button okay and yes we have here nice commercial let's register and he give me example here how to register so what i'm going to do is add to cart button okay cool and here the bad boy will be add to cart button like this all right we have it here very cool very cool how can i use it now so if 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 we do everything right so let's go and onboard this in the plate so we have this here isn't it if i take it out and let's go back and let's this should disappear isn't it cool disappear so we need this uh, as a view gs component so let's okay let's import it so let's go ahead there and let's make that like this you have uh, between the template okay like this all right so let's import it now how we can do this so what is the name of it like this very easy okay add to cart button isn't it cool and we have it like this so let's make like this okay and hopefully if we are lucky we should get the button back and indeed we have the button all right cool so let's click in the button and do some fun action sorry it doesn't I have no idea what doesn't support control click and let's go here and let's make uh, to cart okay and let's make like this and alert something maybe alert uh, to cart okay and let's do what we have to do so here I will when he click okay I want I don't want the behavior of prevent i want to prevent uh, the a tag behavior which is go to other page and click this and see what we have so let's click oh sorry i forgot 
better for the page so let's go ahead and we should get the message yep add to cart and we are in the same page okay so okay cool cool so we have here so let's go to the database and we have basket so we need to insert when this happens so how we can do this uh luckily as well uh i have no idea if we i, I cannot see axios okay so we have to install axios here and we have to import it okay okay so axios where is axios where is it where is it yep here so in the bootstrap we have access ready for us to use all right cool cool so let's go ahead and uh, make ebi call to let's make a new controller okay call that one i will make it from the terminal okay so what we artisan make controller and let's call this cart or cart we should make basket uh, the model but anyway let's make it cart controller it's not big deal we can make it basket control but anyway make it cart controller all right cool so we, ha we should have something here yep okay and let's uh, make uh, the post okay so public function and let's make store okay and i believe this will be a, re a request okay request so and we have the request assembly okay what we have to do it to save to the database isn't it after we check but we need to uh, allow only logged user to add to the cart and how we can do this i have no idea how no i have okay so let's go ahead and define construct here okay and why it doesn't give me the auto completion here okay that, this one and let's tell this to use the middleware okay which is uh, not guest auth okay so there's no way to someone to access to this controller without authorization okay so cool cool so we have this bad boy here so let's try to do what we have to do first of all i will get the current user using out okay and like this out user all right cool so we have the current user now here okay cool so we have the current user here okay so to insert the database we need product quantity price user we have user price and the quantity should be one okay and the price and we should get the uh, and product id okay so how about if the request uh, we will pass the product id okay so let's hear them that i expect a product id as well here okay cool and the quantity should be one i believe and the price as well we will uh, fetch the price from the the product so let's okay let's grab the product so how we can grab the product is very easy find what we want to find is product id and please give us the first record i don't need to have a collection of records okay uh, let's okay cool so we have until this uh, logic everything is completely fine okay cool cool stuff so let's go ahead now and try to insert it to the basket but before let's verify this logic is working so 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 i will go to web here and i want to protect the cart okay okay so i want to protect it so i want to uh, wrap it uh, inside the oats okay let's make a group okay a group and let's make it like this and let's this middleware and what middleware i want to use is web middleware and okay and we have to define the function like this and this cool like this okay and let's put all the route that we need to protect here okay so let's make post okay and to the cart okay and this should be go to the cart controller okay uh, okay i don't need this one i need the class here and i need the method which is store okay 
and let's import this here I don't, yep he imported for us like this cool so we have the post here and we have the route okay and yes yeah, so that's uh, this is so this will be protected here okay so let's, let's try to call this from the our app here okay so the method we will use axios so let response 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 equal to what to axios dot post okay and cart and what we want to pass is the product id so what is the product id here the question okay let's make it one for now and uh, let's make product id like this and yeah so this, this a sync call so if we run this this is not going to work so we have to await wait until this finish okay and await always you have to use a sync with the method so this is a rule memorize this please when you use await for any async method you have to use a sync here okay and you can use the await cool so now i need the product id here okay the product id we will get it from here but how to do something called the props okay so product here it will be product or let's make it like this and uh, i believe like this okay so let's pass all the product of not big deal okay and in the here i'm expecting props what i'm accepting from outside is product or let's make it uh, okay let's make product yeah and this will be required yeah. true and type will be an object okay cool so i'm expecting product whatever now i can pass it easily uh, the product here which is the id isn't it yep so first of all let's make this like alerted first and let's i don't want to execute this yet so well, let's see if we get the product right so we pass it here but let's should do the trick i believe you refresh the page and let's see and indeed we have the product id successfully okay cool so we have the product id now here so this will pass to the back end and let's uh, make the response to the cancel okay so let's say we get the product isn't it okay so what we're going to do is now is very simple to save it to the to the basket okay we have the product but how about this so let's retain this product to check if everything is work retain response json and what we json 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 okay and what i want to return is aa for example or whatever and the product and 200 okay and like this and this should be give us the product if successfully and of course data here uh, because axis all the information from the response will be in the data so let's go ahead and see what we have if I go here and console, you can see the time. They have two minutes left. Okay. All right. Cool. So let's go ahead and try to add to the cart and blah blah blah. Yes, indeed, it give us unauthorized because we're not logging in here. So we have to log in very quickly. We have done the login, isn't it? okay a little bit ugly we will fix this okay so one two three four five six you remember how we insert this we will fix this as well redirection okay don't worry about it all will be fixed and let's try now because we got unauthorized in the last time okay so let's see what we have indeed we have a and we have our product here which is the response that we need and the next lesson we will do the following we will insert this product inside the basket to do insert insert inside basket if not exist and update if exist 
all right guys thank you guys and we will retain the proper response uh, please if you like this video subscribe and like and see you in the next video bye